morning out in the tent friday morning nine o'clock um yeah i've just cutting up some birch ply that i picked up yesterday um what i've got i made before i left the boat i made these templates which are the exact size i need for the um various bulkheads throughout the boat for the bathroom up, up for the kitchen end where the oven and going and the electric cupboard is um so i'm just getting them basically cut out there's some i done last night and i'm just about to cut these on the bench now cut them out with a jigsaw so yeah that's where we're at yeah a little update um i'm just this what i've got drawn out here i don't know if you can see it but uh, i've actually drawn the saloon door that goes into the bathroom out on here on full size so i can work out the sizes of all the timber needed for it um yeah, I've got the other wardrobe door sizes worked out. Um, got a lot of panels cut here as well. Um, yeah, all things are progressing okay. Good morning, everybody. Here we are in the untidy workshop. I've got this pile of oak here, which um, I'm now just going to put for the planer. Uh, this is to form the doors. Speak to you all later. Well, this is the uh, timber I was planing up earlier. I've now done a bit of machining on it. These are the bottom rails and mid rails. Um, got the tenons roughed out on those. Um, so yeah, a bit of progress on the doors. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm going to call it a day for day because I don't know. Just last few weeks, or last couple of weeks, I've been struggling, a bit tired. Uh, it's all catching up on me a bit, so I'm just listening to myself and. Not pushing myself as hard at the moment but uh, uh thank you for all the uh well more new subscribers keep coming on and thank you for your comments from me colin thank you very much speak to you all later yeah hello there monday afternoon i've just dry fitted this is the door going from the saloon into the bathroom which i've just made up um I'm just going to take it apart now. I've just got to put um, a moulding around the edges and then uh, I can glue it together. I'll show you how we do that in a moment. Well, here we are. Um, this door's all ready now to be put together. That's all the parts to make this door. So there's quite a bit of work involved from when I first cut it out. You've got mortise joints to do there. Um, this is a little mould that I've just put on on both sides and um, you yeah, know cut the panels and these panels these are oak veneer on an MDF so there's a veneer of oak with MDF I don't really like use didn't really want to use MDF on the boat but uh, I've um, had to wind my neck in a bit on on the doors because uh, you can't get it's very hard to get double-sided oak plywood so um, but it's quite, it's, it's, it's good stuff, but uh, I just didn't really want to use it, but I'm waffling, so anyway, we're using it. Um, it's got a nice grain on the oak. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to go and take Roxy out for a little walk, and then I'm going to come back and glue this up, and I'll, I won't film glue it, because you've seen me gluing up stuff before, but uh, I'll show you all when it's all clamped up. Speak to you all later. Well, here we go, that's the... Um, the small glass cupboard that's going the other side of the fireplace. That's the frame done for that. I glued that up this morning. Uh, and here's the door I was working on earlier. As you can see, that's now all in the clamps. So um, that's that one out of the way. So now I need to get onto the other doors now and start getting the framework mortised out. I've got all the tenons cut. So we'll get on with that now. Speak to you all later. Excuse me, Trevor. Squeeze by. Thank you. Um, yeah, here we are. Monday afternoon. I'm on the, I've got three more doors to do now. So I've cut all the tenons. I'm just going to do the mortising out on these frames. So here we go. 
Yeah, see, that's one done. So yeah, on it goes like that. So um, yeah, thank you for the rest of the new subscribers. Sorry it was late getting the last one out, but uh, just how it goes. Yeah, hello there. Um, got another door here now. This is one of the wardrobe doors. Uh, I've just dry fitted it, just took it apart. I'm now going to get some glue mixed up and get that one together. Then there's just one more to do. Speak to you all later. Yeah, here we are. I'm just going to knock a bit of glue up for the. Um, I'm on the last door now. And I just went in the workshop to get the glue, and bloody Trevor says. He says, you haven't really used me much this week yet. He said, don't we like me doing filming for you anymore? And uh, I said, well, so I've just been busy getting on, like, you know. So he said, then he said he's thinking of starting his own bloody channel up. I said, you're having a laugh, mate. I said, what, what would you do? And he, do you know what he said to me? He said, well, it wouldn't be about bloody narrowboats, that's for sure. So anyway. We'll have to see how we get on. So I'm just going to knock this glue up uh, and then get this other door glued up, which I'm going to put onto time lapse because you don't want to see me going all through this on normal camera. Right, that's the glue mixed up. Um, and yeah, this is the last door. All I've got to do then, hopefully, is I'm going to get the holes drilled out, get the wooden pegs put in, and then I can sand them up tomorrow and get the first coat of varnish on to seal them up. Speak to you later. Good morning. Um, yeah, it's a nice bright sunny day. It's getting a bit warm in the tent, so I'll be glad to get out of here. I'm just um, doing the final clean up on the, the doors here. I've had them all through the sander. I'm just doing the fine fiddly bits, which uh, you know you really need to do because it just finishes everything off nicely. Like you know, take the odd little wispy bits off. Um, take the edges off all round. Um, so I'm getting these ready because I want to get the first coat of stuff on so um, yeah, I'm going to put it on fast not fast forward what is it um, time lapse and we'll see you later There you go, that's that one all sanded and ready to have a coat of sealer on, or varnish on, whatever you want to call it. Just one more to do. Yeah, there we go, I've got the first coat on all the doors here. Nice sunny day down here in Dorset, so uh, I'm quite pleased about that. But yeah, first coat on the doors. Speaking yeah, good morning, Friday morning. Um, glad you uh, 
all like the uh, new video we put out last night. Thank you for all the lovely comments already. Um, yeah, this morning, I'm just, uh, these are the doors, obviously, you can see. They've had two coats of, of varnish. Now I'm just giving them a wet flat with um, P400 wet and dry, but I'm not putting any wet on them, I'm just using it flat. Just to take, there's a, you can feel the fine bits on it, just, it's worth doing it just to take the, the little module bits off. Um, and then they'll have a third coat, and then that's all the doors finished. Um, so yeah, I'm going to crack on with this. I'll put it on time lapse and speak to you all later. Yeah, there you go, that's that one rubbed down. What I'm using here, this is what they call a tack cloth. It basically, it's like an impregnated with basically sticky stuff. And you just wipe all around and that gets all rid of all the dust ready for the, give it the next coat of varnish. Um, yeah, it's just worth doing it just to get the, the fine dust off because it picks, the stickiness picks it all up. So, um, there we go. Yeah, I'm quite pleased how these doors have come out. Another one ready for the harness. Oh, two more to go. Yeah, hello there everybody, Saturday afternoon, um, still getting on with it, don't always know about cracking on with it, but getting on with it, um, as you can see we're in the right shit tip in here, but um, it don't stop me working, but I need to have a good clear up in the next couple of days, um, yeah I'm back on processing some bits of pallet wood, this is to go on the side walls in the the bathroom walls. Um, I'm still doing the, the door stroke wall bits at the moment. Um, and yeah, thank you for those who like the latest video. And yeah, I'm going to crack on. See, not ready. Come unplugged or something. In the mess. I'm going to put it on fast forward. And. Uh, Just uh, take a bit of grinding on these pallets. Right, well there we go, that's those boards. They're all laid out now. Ready to stick onto this plywood, but uh, what I'll do is I'll paint them all first because that's how I did all the other panelling. Whereas if I was to glue that on now and paint that, even though I use the same technique that I used on the other boards, because I haven't painted these individually, when it looks up against it, the other panelling, it will look different. So I need to paint all these boards individually first, then I can stick them on. So I've got a couple more lots to do for the side panels of the wardrobe doors in the bedroom and then once I've got them cut up I can then mark them so I know which ones belong with what and I can get them painted. So I'll speak to you again later. I'll just 
I've about had enough now of just finishing off these bits of pallet. Just a bit of filler in the holes and I'm gonna I really wanna fi finish up for the night but I would like to get some paint on these so I'm just gonna put this filler in here. Then I'm gonna go and put the kettle on and have a slice of cake. We actually haven't been mentioning cake for a while, have we? But um, I've got a good one on the go this week. Um, yeah, it's uh, one of my own creations. I was in the kitchen the other day, because as well as doing, I can get a bit creative in the kitchen if I put my mind to it. But um, you know, I've made a, a brown tea loaf, which is using cold tea, bran, sultanas and raisins, a bit of flour, and you mix it all together, some spices, and bake it in a loaf tin, and it comes, well, I find it comes out really nice, spread a bit of butter on it, and uh, there you go, so, um, yeah, what's her name, um, Mrs. Crimble, I think we're out of stock of Mrs. Crimble, though there might be one tucked away in the van somewhere, I know there's one, there's a ginger up at the unopened ginger up at the boat, but that will have to wait until uh, I get back up there. I would like it'd be nice to be up there over this heat wave actually, because to see whether it's cooking up inside or whether the fincher that's doing its job and keeping it cool in there. But um, we'll have to wait and see because I'm not ready to go back up. But anyway. There we go, that's a bit of filler on them. I'm going in for me cup of tea and a slice of cake. Speak for later. there yeah I just um, clamped these panels up glued them on this is basically the bathroom one of the walls in the bathroom the basin was set against this wall um, so yeah quite pleased with the progress so far I just glued that up well it's tea break time now I've got me wood wizard cup and a piece of my cake that I made the other day with some butter or whatever it is spread put on it. Um, Cindy just brought it out for me and she's just gone back in now to have half hour on the on the iPad or whatever it is doing a bit of editing for the next film or video. I suppose this would be in it as well so there we go. I'll just sit and enjoy my, well no I won't sit, I'll stand and enjoy my cup of tea and bit of cake and then I'll crack on. Yeah. Oh, that's bloody good, not the camera. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to see me now, I'm not. But, um, yeah, I'm just in the workshop, I'm scratching about, tripping up. Um, just getting some mouldings cut out for the architraves and framework round um, the doors and stuff like that. I'm scratching about for oak now because I've nearly run out so I'll probably have to get some more but anyway I'm just going to put it on time lapse for a bit of planing work. everybody Monday morning um, yeah these are me little architrave mouldings I'm doing I'm just gonna run them through the router now just to put a little round edge on them um, that's where we're at this morning so I'm just basically because I'm hoping to by the end of this week I'll be going up to the boat and cracking on up there like you know so just getting all these bits together and then a big clear up sort my tools out 
pack the van and then off up to the boat. But that'll be later on in the week. So anyway, I'm going to put it on um, time lapse and uh, do some routering. That's the belt sanding bit done. Now I've got to do is just finish them off by hand. The thing is, it all takes time, but you just got to keep at it. crack on and speak to you all later. Oh, who's that at the bloody door now? Looks like that bloody painter. Roxy, what's he doing here? What are you doing here? Yeah, hello mate, I was just in the area and um, thought I'd look you up, see if you can get any decorating doing. You're having a laugh, aren't you? Okay, look, a bit better, but it's... Mrs. Crimble's Dutch apple cake. Well, seeing as you got Mrs. Crimble's, I suppose you better come in then, didn't you? Okay, I'll come in then. Thank you. Right, cup of tea and a slice of cake. All right, thanks. That my cup of tea, is it? I don't mind sitting down in your lounge. So what's it? Is Mrs. Crimble's apple cake? Um, so do you want me to come back up to the boat with you? you know, I might have a little bit of work you can do tomorrow, but you, I'm not having you back up at the boat, that's for sure. Well, i I got, I got nowhere to stay, so I'm going to have to stay here. But I don't know if I think Cindy's going to be very happy about you staying here. As I say, you're going to have to sleep out in the shed with uh, Trevor. And I'm not very happy with Trevor, like. And that's another thing. You know, yes, that's my hat you've got on as well. Yeah, good morning, um, Tuesday morning. I'm just scratching about finding bits of oak in the workshop. I'm just going to put these pieces through the planer now because I've got a pair of little doors to make which will go underneath the cabinet next to the stove. Yeah, good morning. Um, yeah, here's the little doors that I made yesterday. They're, uh, they're all done now. I'll give them a coat of varnish in a minute just to seal them up. And then I've just got a load of the shelves for the, the wardrobes here. I've just put an oak edge on just to finish them off so I'm just cleaning them up now. Um, speak to a bit of a clear up here. Um, yeah, more bags of sawdust. Um, hopefully, luckily, Cindy's mum comes over today to pick Roxy up and she'll take that away and get rid of it for me which is really helpful. So thank you to Cindy's mum for your input into helping us with the narrowboat. Well, hello, I'm just about to machine up a bit, found a bit more oak piece there. And I've just cut these pieces up. They were a couple of big slabs that I had that I've reduced down in size because um, I'm getting on with the old um, glue now. Thomas Crapper, Carsey, whatever you wish to call it. But as I say, we're having the composting glue. Um, and that's the framework so far for it that um, I've put together. Well... Here we are on the um, workings out for the the toilet. Um, these are the various parts that I've got from a company called um, Kill Quick or Kill Quick. Um, 
we've got the solids box there, the wee bottle there, and this is what they call the urine and poo separator. Um, so yeah, I'm just working out how to make the lid and everything and get it all to fit together. Yeah, I'm just now working out the, um, the position of the oak to glue up to make the seat with. So uh, that's what we're doing at the moment, looking down into the black hole. Oh, here we go. That's the um, toilet seat come out the clamps now. All I've got to do now is cut the shape out of it and finish it off. Well, here we are. The uh, thunder box is uh, starting to take shape. Um, you know, I've just roughly rough cut out the seat. Um, yeah, I think we're gonna have a, it's all going to work out well. Well, wet old day here today. Anyway, the loo seat's progressing. I'm just uh, getting the router run round on the actual seat. Um, yeah, it's all coming together quite well. Oh, hello there. Um, composting toilet. There we have it. Basically, we're all uh, done. Um, well, I've got a couple more little bits to do, but... Uh, that side there is going to be storage and also as I said before my pumps going down the bottom there um, so I'll make some little divisions and shelves in there um, and there you go that's it I just got to take it all apart now, so I can varnish the uh, the oak work and a few more little jobs to get done. Bloody good clear up, sort the van out, and then start loading up, ready to get up to the uh, back to the boat. Oh, hello there. Um, Saturday evening. Uh, I just glued up the last cut, last bit of oak that I had for a bottom drawer the little unit by the side of the fire and I've just been making these um, light switches because um, there was nothing I liked so I thought actually I'll get some little dolly switches because you buy these switches on their own and you can make your own Patris cover up for them so I've made two I've well, got that one to do so I've just got to chop out the back a little bit just to fit them in. Um, but yeah, I'm quite pleased with those. Just got to give them a little sand up and a varnish and that's the light switches. There we go. And then um, out in the, the messy tent, um, We've got everything stripped down, it's all had its first coat of varnish. There are various other bits of timber that's going up to the boat. So yeah, really tomorrow it'll be another coat of varnish on these. Bloody good clear up and then sort the van out and start loading up. Um, ready to get away. So I'll either get away tomorrow night or if not Monday morning and then we'll be back up at the boat. Um, yeah, good morning, Sunday morning. Um, there's the little light patrices that I've done. They're all done now. I just put some lacquer on them and I can put the switches together. I thought I'd just bring you in on. Yeah, hello there. Sunday evening. I'm just, uh, I've got the little lights all finished off here now. They're all done with the switches in. Um, so yeah, I'm very pleased how they've come out. So they're going up to the boat tomorrow. Um, got some bat five batteries there take up gradually <coughs> getting a bit tidied up um, and a good clear up with they chop lots of rubbish up for firewood and dump some rubbish um, and out in the tent here the seat and that's had its final coat of varnish those other bits are ready to go and there's the composter toilet there um, so yeah, I think we'll call it a as a wrap, as they say. That'll do for now. Um, I just got to get all this lot loaded up tomorrow and get back up to the boat. So next time I speak to you, I'll be up on the boat. 
So again, thanks for everybody who's been watching. Thanks for the new subscribers. And uh, thanks for all your support. Oak. I'm glad you're enjoying the show. Speak to you all later. Thank you.